Hi, I'm Lisa Steenson with Gut Best in Games, and we're, I'll introduce a couple of the games that we have. Um, oh Gnome You Don't. Each player has a gnome, and they are going along the forest trail, collecting things in the forest, such as blackberries, wildflowers, uh, deer antlers, to sell at stores, such as Gnome Depot, in order to earn gems. Once they earn gems, then the gnomes tend to get into brawls. If I catch up with another gnome on the trail, I'm going to incite a brawl. We each have a hand of 10 numbered brawl cards. And so if my opponent pulls up a 6 and I pull up a 10, I get the difference in gems. We discard these. And then all the other players are aware of what brawl cards we're low of. So, oh no, you don't. A lot of... Um, sassy cards, I can make somebody pass the store, I can gnome portate them back to me, brawl them and make a miss an opportunity. And so, oh gnome you don't, you want to be the richest gnome in gems. Beautiful artwork, very uh, precious valuable gems, a lot of fun to play. This next one is Trailer Park Wars and the goal is to have the most pink yard flamingo miniatures as points. And so, once the game gets started, you'll have tenants in trailers amenities in the center to make your park more fun and friendly. And you get to name your parks. They are numbered one, two, three. You take them randomly. So you could be managing the Derrier Camper Corral or the Redneck Leisure Gulch or possibly the Del Mar. And so you're placing tenants into parks, amenities in the middle, and then you play bad things on other parks. For example, if it was my turn, I could send my opponent's sweet little old lady to jail on a DUI, they would have to discard her. I could put in a good tenant in my park and then flash flood the mechanic, discard his trailer, put him in mine. You see how my opponent has a trailer park here and I've got, you have enough for six trailer parks around the table. It gets huge, messy, fun. If I uh, have the chain smoking stripper, Starla, she becomes a bonus if I have the cigarette vending machine. So you want to look for bonuses on your cards. Unfortunately, the spinster sisters with the rigid moral fiber, da da da, make you discard all your vice amenities. No alcohol, no cigarettes, etc. So that is a very evil bad character to have in your park. So that is Trailer Park Wars. When the last flamingo is taken from the store, then the game's over and everybody will have had a good old trailer parking bunch of fun. Cheap shot, brand new. You each have a hand of uh, seven cards and you're able to put together an insult. <clears throat> For example, I might say, hey, Phil, your parole officer, mugs little old ladies, I have the word and, so I can use more than one blue card, and plays cowbell for garage band and then unless a Phil has a snappy comeback, such as, huh, don't you have work to do? It'll stand as points. And so it's a rummy-based insult game. The player with the most points at the end wins. Redneck Life is the player with the most teeth at the end that wins. So each player keeps a score sheet. And of course they need a name to go by. And so if I roll at the beginning of the game, 4-3 for gals, I am Bertha Lou. Bertha Lou and I topped out at the seventh grade when I'm 18 as far as my education. And so that means I'm a taxidermist making $300 a payday. So I put that on my score sheet. Anytime I have a young and I've got to take $10 off that payday and I would have purchased a vehicle <clears throat> using Uncle Clem's check and scrams as a payday advance. So if I chose <laughs> the Monster Corvette I'd be taking on 10 check and scrams as debt, paying them down as I get my paydays, but I'm looking good. It only holds three youngins, so when I get a fourth youngin, I'm gonna have to buy a second vehicle. You probably go through four or five vehicles in a game. And um, so it's the player with the most teeth at the end that wins. So if you have money at the end, you could buy some of the teeth back that you've lost, but if you're still in debt to Uncle Clem, you're going to lose a tooth for every check and scram you have at the end of the game. You might be toothless, but you'd have had a good time. And it turns successful businessmen 
into good looking smart men like this. All right, so this game will do you a lot of good. So those are the titles and then we're coming up with flea marketeers and key creatures of Keister Island. And we have a trailer park war expansion coming out. So